Finding the right exercises to grow and develop your chest at home can be tricky, especially if you don't have access to dumbbells or barbells. But if you've got a couple of resistance bands, then I have got you covered in this resistance band chest workout. Welcome back to Total Body Training. My name is Jean Carlos, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscription button. On this channel, we go over fitness tips, trends, and tutorials to help you stay informed and get in shape. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Today, we're going to be going over five different resistance band chest exercises. Let's jump into the video. The first exercise is the resistance band low cable chest fly. I know that's a mouthful, but essentially what we're doing here is we're mimicking an exercise called the low cable chest fly. And the original version of this exercise is done with two cables side by side or with one cable in a gym. However, for this version of the exercise, we're going to do it with just one resistance band and we're going to do one arm at a time. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with your bands. They're gonna be in your hands or on the ground. And you're going to stand with your feet staggered, one foot slightly ahead of the other one and the other one behind you. Now I stand kind of wide, almost like I'm on two train tracks. So my feet are a little bit wider than usual. Just a hair, it doesn't have to be quite that wide. It's different from person to person. This is the position that I feel best in. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the band underneath my opposite foot. Now, you can place just one part of the band under your foot, or you can place the, your foot inside of the loop and place it on the ground. You can see here the option that I went with. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to grip the band. You can either hold the band with the entirety of the band inside of your hands, or you can hold it with an underhanded position. Either is fine, so an underhanded grip, kind of like you're holding a dumbbell. And then from there, you are going to hold your arm out to the side so that it's kind of perpendicular to you and it's facing slightly to the side, like you see right here. And then you're going to come up and across towards the center of your body and then back down. Up and across towards the center of your body and then come back down. Now you can, since you're doing it with one resistance band, pick up both arms at the same time to help you counterbalance. Either version of that would be correct. You can just use one arm and then go back down. I like to use both arms coming up and coming back down because I feel like I'm a little bit more balanced when I'm doing it this way. The most common mistake with this exercise is doing a front raise instead of doing a low cable chest fly. When you do a front raise, your arm is closer to your body and you're coming straight up in front of you. And this is a front delt and somewhat of a medial delt exercise. So it's a shoulder exercise. When you're holding the band out to the side, and you're bringing it into your midline, you're working out your chest and your shoulders. And this needs to be different. If you come just straight up in front of you, it will be only a shoulder exercise. So make sure you're holding the arm out to the side and then coming up and across and then bringing it back to that position on the side of you. The next exercise is a resistance band landmine press or an incline press. For this exercise, you don't actually need a landmine attachment. It's just that when we're doing it, the angle that we're doing it from is similar to the way that you would do a, a landmine barbell chest press from. That being said, you do feel this in different parts of your chest, maybe in the lower and the upper parts of your chest that you don't normally engage in when you're doing a standard bench press. Take a band and place it underneath your foot. You're gonna place it in your front foot and you're going to stagger your feet. Now you can either stagger your feet or you can have your feet side by side. Either is fine. You can see the option that I went with here. From there, you're going to take your band and you're going to pick it up and you're going to hold it with an outside grip. Now this is supposed to mirror the landmine press where your hands are gripping the bar like this, where your hands are holding the bar. So picture yourself holding a bar. You're gripping it and then you're holding one hand on top of the other like this. Hold the band at your chest center, so at your sternum, and then you're gonna press out and somewhat in front of you, and then bring it back down. You're gonna press the band out somewhat in front of you, above you, and then back down. The most common mistake with this exercise is half repping. Whenever people do pressing movements, they have a tendency to only come up part of the way. So make sure that you're going all the way in the movement so that you feel every inch of your pecs and your arms and all of those other muscles getting activated in the movement. So don't half rep this exercise. The next one is a standing decline chest fly. This one is a little bit tricky 
because the band can sometimes move around on you. So just be careful when you're doing it. You're going to stand up and take your bands, place them across your back like you see me doing right here, with the band somewhat on top of the shoulder blades and maybe somewhat underneath. Either way, what's going to happen is, is the bands are going to, the, the other sides of the bands, once you've gripped it, is going to go across the top parts of your shoulders and your triceps. And then from there, you're gonna take your bands and you are going to hold your arms slightly up, keep a bend in your elbows, and from the top position, in line with your shoulders, you're gonna come down like you're hugging somebody who's a little bit shorter than you. And when you come down, your arms are gonna be slightly rounded, so your elbows are gonna be slightly facing out and then come back up in the movement. Go down and squeeze and then come back up. You're gonna feel this in the lower part of your pecs in a way that you don't feel when you're doing a standard chest fly. The most common mistake with this movement is flapping your arms too quickly. First of all, you look like a bird, and second, you don't get the proper tension in your chest. Sure, you'll feel something because you're you're swinging the weight and you're you know, building up your cardiovascular capacity, but this is a strength exercise. Time under tension builds muscle. Make sure that when you bring that forward, you really squeeze the chest and come back. This is a mistake that people make with all of their resistance band exercises. So make sure that you're really engaging the chest and feeling out what you're doing when you're doing this exercise. The next exercise is the resistance band push-up. You are going to take a band and put it around your back in a similar position to where we've been placing the band when we're doing our presses or when we're putting our flies. So it's somewhere around your shoulder blades and your upper part of your back. Make sure that the bands are resting on top of your arms, so right across here, like they do in all of those other movements. And you're going to grip the band like you're holding a dumbbell with an overhanded grip, like this. Place your hands on the ground, and then set up in a push-up position. Suck your belly button in, keep your back nice and flat, and then push yourself up and bring yourself back down. Push yourself up and bring yourself back down. The most common mistake with this exercise is placing the band too low and then getting kind of trapped in it like you see me doing right here, or letting your belly dip too much as a result of doing a bad push-up. Make sure that when you're doing this, that A, you've got good push-ups so that you've got really good technique and your body is nice and flat when you're doing it, but B, that the band isn't so far down that it naturally pulls your core down when you're doing the movement. That looks a little bit more like you're doing a some kind of weird yoga movement. The up dog is what they would call it. So make sure that you've got the bands across your chest, your belly button is sucked in, your core is tight, and you're pressing yourself up and then bringing it back down. Placing the right band, the band in the right position will make a world of a difference. The last exercise is the lying floor press or the resistance band floor press. You are going to take your band and place it across your back with the band sitting somewhat on top of your shoulder blades, maybe a little bit underneath. The biggest thing here is that you're gonna to want to bring the band so that the bands are sitting on top of your arms and you're going to lay back down. Now you can set up from a seated position the same way that you've been setting up for the standing exercises with yourself standing up and then placing it on there and then laying down or you can try to lay down on top of the band and then try to get underneath it but I find that this position is a little bit easier. From there you're going to hold the band in either hand and you are going to grip it like you're holding two dumbbells. You're gonna hold your, tr push your triceps out so that they're resting on the ground and your elbows are down and your forearm is in a vertical angle facing up. You're going to come up and press using your chest and your arms and then come back down and rest your entire tricep and your elbow on the ground. Come up and press and then go back down. The most common mistake with this exercise is half repping. So people will only go up some of the way when they're doing the exercise. Make sure that you're getting a full deep stretch by pressing all the way up when doing your resistance band floor press. All right, people, and that does it for today's episode. Question of the day. 
What is your favorite chest exercise to do? This can be an exercise that is done with dumbbells or with a resistance band or with a cable, whatever the case might be, a machine, whatever it is, let me know down in the comments section below. My favorite chest exercise is an incline bench press dumbbell fly. I just love that exercise. I hadn't really done them too much a couple years ago and then I started using them and I found that it really helped with growing my chest in a way that I really wanted. So let me know what you enjoy doing down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode of the video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. All right, people, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace.